Today, we're finally doing a tour of downtown Eustis. We're not super familiar with downtown. We've been there a couple times, but today we're gonna dig in a little deeper, do a little walk around of everything, and just kind of point out what downtown is like. Let's go check it out. Now to start this tour off, Parking can kind of be tricky in downtown Eustis depending on what kind of event they have going on. However, there is this parking garage here that is a good spot to park in if there's room. And also this little lot right here, which for reference, you could always search the Ace Hardware, which is right across the street here. Um, but after the hours, Monday through Friday, um, after eight to five, you can park here. So during business hours, do not park in this lot. After business hours, feel free to park here and you can park on the weekends. But those are the two little, you can see here's the parking, public parking, parking garage, two little tips on parking. Just search Ace Hardware and you should be able to find that garage. Also looks like there's a little charging station right here. And of course there's gonna be street parking, but like I said, it just depends how busy it is in downtown to find street parking. Currently on the corner of Orange Ave and Eustis Street. And I think that's where we will start the tour. We'll have to kind of go a couple places down this way. We'll have to go right and then take a left. But currently we'll just head down this way. Right in front of us we have Roma Pizza. And you can see there's the Ace Hardware right there. The Eustis Center. And then looks like there's some Funkos right here. Some of these places we've been to and put in some of our videos. So I can kind of tie those into our tour. I'm not gonna be able to name off every single business that's down here. There's the Humane Society of Lake County, but I can at least just do a walking tour of kind of the waypoints down here. And you can see there are street spots you can park in and then right up here i'll probably take a right and then go this way and then come back down this way and then make a loop and come back through this way because downtown kind of stretches pretty far if you've watched our video when we came down to um the george washington festival it uh we went all over the place downtown but they've got this Let's see, they've got this nice little outdoor city paddle boards on the corner. And I'm gonna take a right and come up this way. If we walk up this way, we've got a little sort of restaurant there. Used as flower shopping gifts. And there's not much at the end of this way, but I still want to show you it's still part of downtown. Come to the end up here and then I'll turn back around. It's like this is an empty building. This is also where they have the fair. They had all those rides out there and that little lot. And the thing with downtowns is if you're driving down here, be careful, there are a lot of one-way streets. Like this is a one-way street. So you're not gonna wanna turn right. It tells you not to turn right right here. So this is Grove Street, Magnolia Ave. And if we turn back around, you can see I just walked from that way. So I'm gonna walk back down this side, loop kind of around, and then that'll be the tour. Up here is a map that might be able to explain it a little more. Currently we are here, right here. So Fountain Green, just right there. And looks like we just kind of basically walked this way so we're gonna walk back down this way to this side I'd say head on down to this area too this is a fun area kind of hit these places make a loop on back up and then head back down this way and that should be an overall view of downtown Eustis here's some places they have that we've been to the crazy gator just did a video on that recently that's the Mexican restaurant I want to try sometime. So anyway, there is an overview and a map of downtown Eustis. So we're going to continue it this way. Now, since I already filmed this side, 
of the street. I'm just gonna pick up once I cross over to the other side of the street down here. Back by the paddle board shop, crossing the street this way. There's two sides of shopping and restaurants. So I'm gonna hit this side up first. In the brick and barrel we did a video at, it's a great place to eat at, but we did a video at that when we came to the George Washington Festival. I'm just gonna keep walking this way. There's a store there. I'm not super familiar with this downtown. We've only been a couple times, but I'm learning it. This'll be a tour for us to go back and look at as well. We got an empty building for lease there. I think I'll go down to this corner. Maybe we'll hit like the place by the water up last so I can just go ahead and do this like square. We've got lollygaggers. There's a couple lollygaggers around. We have not been to this one here in Eustace. That'll have to be a video sometime. We've got all these lights on the trees. Bay Pharmacy. That looks like a fun store. We the people. There's Bank of America. Back that way will be Ace. I think I'm gonna hit this side up next, go around the building, come back around this way, and then we'll go to the water last. Over on this corner though, they have back fin. I wanna go there sometime and try it. It seems like it's a really good place. Cross over right here. This is Magnolia Ave and Bay Street. Then we're gonna head this way, up this side. Just came from that side, we're gonna do this side. They do have plenty of maps for us here, so we are currently, it's supposed to be Alexander Park. Neat little area. Currently here, head up this street, go down this way, go down this way, go down this way, and then we'll do all this park area last. That sounds like a good plan for us. In this little park area, they have this certified wildlife habitat. Cool. And heading this way, there's a foxtail coffee. I think we've done a video at a foxtail, but I'm not 100% sure if we have. There's several foxtails throughout. There's a couple in Mount Dora. Um, but it's gonna be right here. And they have a fantastic drink that I just discovered recently. Look at this, little alleyway. It is a Rose Matcha Latte, the Great Pizza Co. Rose Matcha Latte at Foxtail. It is delicious. It's kind of my go-to drink right now. Peddler's Wagon. That looks like a nice little shop. Got a hand washing station out here. Cool. That's neat. And then on the corner, so we already went that way. There's that paddleboard shop. But on the corner, the brick and barrel kitchen and bar. It is a great, this clock, it is a great restaurant. Would highly recommend eating there. We'll be back, go check it out. Now we're gonna head this way. Again, there's right now, plenty of parking on the road, but normally it can be pretty crowded. So that's like the kitchen part of the brick and barrel. And then down here is like the bar area for the brick and barrel. All one building, all connected. Now, if we continue on down, getting a lot of green space over here. It kind of connects that alley was just right back there. What do we have up here? Another charging station. It's like that's an empty building. There's kind of maybe some office spaces. There's an Edward Jones right here. Now we are at Eustace and McDonald Ave. And now we're gonna turn left. And this is kind of like the outer skirts of the downtown. Now, if we head this way, 
there's the Mexican restaurant I want to try sometime. It looks really good. Looks like this is private parking. There's some parking over there. Down the road is the Crazy Gator. We just did a video on that recently. So by this pizza sign, just keep walking. There is parking down at the Crazy Gator. Here's that Mexican place, Wells Fargo. They have plenty of restaurants. Want to try that pizza place over there too. Here's the park in front of us. I'll do that last. I'm going to just turn this way and walk down this side of the street. And after that, we'll head over to like the amphitheater where we saw a concert there. We have a video on it down there, way down there, crazy gator. And then if we take a left right here, we're going to continue with these little buildings. Wells Fargo, Mexican restaurant, real estate for lease. Wolf Branch Brewing Co. But that's good. Lemonade. Is it for rent? That's interesting. Over here we have a barber shop. The back fin that I mentioned earlier. Bay Street Players Historic State Theater. Now I did have somebody tell me it's really cool to come into here. They'll give you tours, I guess, of the historic theater and they'll tell you kind of all the history. So I'd like to go in there sometime and look at it. Looks like Beauty and the Beast is coming. So that's cool. There's a lot of history in this building. We'll have to go in there sometime and see if we can get some sort of tour. Now we're back to this side where the little park was, where I just looked at that sign. Um, lollygaggers, foxtails up there. Just made one big loop. And now we're going to cross over by the back fin, which is a good looking seafood place, and go down here by the water. Here is the back fin. Restaurant entrance is this way. Just so you know, even though that's got a sign that says state law stop for pedestrians, people don't want to stop. So be careful walking over across the road. This is where you would enter the back fin. Look at that big skeleton in there. We'll have to try that sometime. Sorry, the motorcycles are out and about today and it's really loud. Now, if we head this way, it's a big restaurant. Looks fun. Definitely have to try that. Down here by the, oh, it's, it continues this way. Back fin, lots of seating. We will have to try that. Now we're over here by the park. Um, they also have some outdoor seating. Railroad tracks here. And then way down the railroad tracks is where we went to the Crazy Gator. We actually parked over here and walked all the way, but lesson learned from that video is you can actually park at the Crazy Gator. Now we'll just do a little tour of the park. And then I think that should wrap up the little tour of downtown Eustis. So over here, it looks like there's a playground for kids. Plenty of bags to pick up after your pets. Some kind of little information screen, but it doesn't appear to be working. I love this area of Eustis. We like to come down here and look at this. When we had that concert, we were sitting by the water. It was nice. Here's just a big open field. I know when they have um, some of their like fairs and festivals, they have a lot of little tent booths and things like that where people set up and give you free stuff. Over here they've got a nice little like boardwalk where there's some people fishing. Nice little pavilion area. What this say? Culture, opportunity, vitality. Eustis, Florida, established 1883. See, you can pretty much come down to the water right here. They've got plenty of benches you can sit at. And just overlook the water. Pretty peaceful out besides the birds. I think really all we have left is just walk down this way a little bit, look at the amphitheater, and finish up the tour. 
believe it or not, it is a Saturday around 12.30, so it just doesn't seem like a lot is going on currently right now. But you can see the big Lake Eustace over here. There's just a seating area. I don't know, I think they're doing some sort of photos over here, so I'm gonna walk this way. And then that will be the tour. And right here is the amphitheater. We actually saw Little Texas right here. We've got some covered areas you can sit in and it holds a lot. There's people with chairs all, all out over here. So it actually makes for a pretty big amphitheater. I've always wondered, is this the pool? We'll go see if this is the pool. And I see a lifeguard, so I'm guessing the pool area is over here. Don't really want to film too much at the pool, but can give you kind of an idea of what the pool looks like. And there's that little pizza place right there is the crazy gator. Eustace Aquatic Center. So yeah, decent looking pool. Like I said, I really don't want to film if there's people swimming, but there's a couple lifeguards out there. There's some people in the water. Smells like a pool, that's for sure. They do have some restrooms over there at the pool area. And then it looks like they've got a little boardwalk this way. We'll hit the boardwalk up and then that'll be the end of the tour. Let's see what the rules say. Are there rules? There's cleanup uses. No cast net fishing. Do not feed alligators. Lake walk closed 11 p.m. to 6 a.m. Right there. Let's do it. Of course, there will be alligators whether we see them this trip or not. There's another overview of the pool. Looks like they got a little splash pad over there as well. This really isn't a boardwalk. I think they called it a lake walk because made out of concrete it's not made out of boards and there we go there's our first gator see him right there tails there head comes out this way there's a turtle over there right there bird over there look at all the lily pads bird right here wow It's like a little pavilion you can sit in up here. I'm sure there's more gators somewhere, but we already saw one, so that's good. Boat ramp, got a bird right here. Bird in the pavilion. All right, there's the boat ramp. Oh, we're over by Crazy Gator. Nice little walk. Feels nice today. It's about 80 degrees and a lot of cloud coverage, so makes it feel like a really nice day and then we'll get off here and i think that is going to wrap up the tour of downtown eustace if you're new to the area you can kind of get a feel of what downtown's like see here's the parking for the crazy cater it does show there's a library there's a sign for a library somewhere over over there um i don't know where it's at or if it's in walking distance or whatnot but it shows turn left at the light head over there to the library somewhere. Um, we'll just head this side and then head back to Ace Hardware where we parked. Just for an overview, we walked right past that, walk down here, just walk by the pool, walk down the lake walk, now heading back. Ooh, it smells good. Here's that pizzeria and sub shop. It smells really good. See, there's that Mexican restaurant. Like I said, we'll just go back this way and back over. I like it. Neat little town, that's for sure. A lot of history in it. Sometime maybe we can come do like a history tour where we just look up history points about it. Like I said, I know the theater has a lot of history with it. We're going to manage to go across this crosswalk again in hopes that people will stop, but they don't like to stop. So we'll see what happens. Literally, it says stop for pedestrians and only one car stopped. So again, just be careful. Okay, made it to the corner here. Eustace and McDonald Ave crossing back over. You can see the paddleboard shop way up there. Looks like we did the full tour. Actually don't, well, I'll film this side because we up here we didn't film this side of the street. So when we get up here, I'll pick back up. So this is by the brick and barrel, but I wanted to pull off because they've got a mural on the wall. Eustace welcomes you. Here's our different signs we have. Paddleboard place, using that as a reference. Look at that. Crossing. Now we're gonna 
So the, just this little area right here. Look at that. George Washington. Eustace welcomes you. Doesn't appear to be too many stores on this side of the road. Land tours. Right here is a pause and effect. Looks like a little pet store. There's that Roma pizza where we started and there's our parking garage right up here by Ace Hardware. I think that's gonna wrap it up. Attempt to cross over the road here and get back in the car. Now, before we wrap up the video, I just wanna make note that this parking garage also has upper level parking. If you've got a bigger, taller vehicle right up there, but even down here, kind of a tight little fit. So just make note of that. So that was our tour of downtown Eustis. Hopefully you found it helpful. I know we did, because now we kind of know our way officially around downtown. And there's a lot of restaurants we still need to try down there. So one of these days we'll head back down and try another restaurant. With that being said, that does it for today. Thanks for watching.